So today it's all about cleaning the jelly plate. And I know for a lot of you who have been following me, you think, do you ever clean your plate, Robin? Yes, I do. I'm not a big plate cleaner, you know, but I do clean it and I do clean them regularly, what I feel is regular. So one of the things that I'll do, like this right there, this plate, I could still work it because it's not a lot on it. It's only a little bit around the edges. It's a real thin amount. This is actually my very, very first jelly plate. I've had this one for 10 years and that's why it's discolored. It's got, you know, a good amount of discoloration, but it still prints beautifully. I love it. Um, so just to give you an idea how long these plates really do last, they're a good investment. Um, so this isn't a lot. I would probably continue to work it, but it's a good time to show you how I'd also clean it because I do have some of the Posca on here and I've been asked about that. I probably would just keep on pulling it until the Posca is completely gone, but there are a couple things that you can do. So let's start with the baby wipes. So the baby wipes are good to use like if you're printing and in, let's say we're, we're you know we're working on this plate and we're actually printing and there's a color down that we don't want to mix with the next color that we want to use grab your baby wipes and just you know i get a couple of them and just really start wiping the plate down so while i have this posca on here i just thought well you know let's just see how much the baby wipe will actually take off and also I'm wiping right now and I'm loosening up a lot of the paint that's on the side here and just rubbing back and forth with the baby wipe. It's amazing how much actually comes off and it won't damage your plate. So you don't have to worry about that part of it. So you can just rub um, old paint as well as if we were, if there was fresh paint down, like I said, and I want to change colors and I don't feel like they're going to mix very well. Then just grab, and see, we're getting quite a bit off. It's getting dirty. Um, and what you'll do is you'll just get a lot of that paint off that's, you know, just coloring your plate, or um, in this case, a lot of this extra stuff. Some of the Posca is releasing, but not a lot. So now the next way we would do it is to put some mineral oil down. So just go ahead and pour some on the plate. What I like to do is pour a bit on there and I love to use my hands and rub it around. And what that'll do is it'll start loosening up, you know, the stuff that's a little harder to get off. And this is just kind of rolling right off. I just use my fingernails and uh, it literally starts lifting up. And it's a good way to, um, to condition your plate as well. So the reasons why I normally clean my plate is if this around the edge gets too thick and it's just, it's resisting fresh paint because it's just too thick, it's, you know, it's dried out. Um, it's plastic basically, because it's acrylic paints, right? So it's, it's just turned to a plastic and, um, I'm just kind of massaging the plate, this Posca. And yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't like it anymore. You know, it's, I want to get rid of it and get a fresh edge um, because my old walls comes from the buildup of, of the edges. And sometimes the edges just get too thick and it's not giving me the look of my old walls that I want. So that would be one reason I would, I would clean it. Um, so I do re do it regularly. Like I said, every, for me, probably every six weeks I clean my plate, unless I've done something in particular, like I've worked with oils or something like that, where I just want to clean the plate because obviously I don't want that stain on the plate because it's not going to mix with the acrylics when I go back to it. Um, also, um, the other reason would be um, to condition my plate. So every now and then it's nice to condition the plates and the baby oil will just kind of help recondition the gelatin or the mineral oil. Like I said, it doesn't have to be, um, you can use mineral oil. I find the mineral oils are the best. I don't really find any other oils work the same um, with the gelatin because some of them can get sticky and you know, what have you. But because I live in a very dry zone 
me reconditioning my plate periodically is just a good idea. So if you're finding that your plate isn't, doesn't seem like it has the same stickiness to it as it did when it was fresh, normally doing some um, baby oil will get it, will help just recondition that gelatin finish in. And it's great for cleaning it. So all that extra paint, as you can see, it's popping all around the sides here, is coming off. And also, it's gotten rid of the Posca. So there's a little bit left right here. See, the Posca's coming right off. We're getting a lot of color. So then I'll go back with a little bit more, rub it on again, just to really clean the plate and freshen it. So it's nice to do this, you know, every now and then. It's not like you have to do it. If you just wanted to condition your plate, probably if you did it every six months, you'd be fine. But it's also just a really good way to get stubborn paint and inks and color off your plate. Now using the baby wipe, you're gonna actually wipe a lot of the oil right off, um, which is fine, but still let the plate sit you know, for a few hours anyway, or overnight, just so that the rest of the oil can absorb, you know, um, and dry out and kind of leave the plate nice and fresh. And I'd leave it open. I don't put it back in the clam clamshell while I'm letting the oil dry. I just keep it exposed. So I'll just leave it on my, um, on my workstation or, you know, somewhere to the side so that it can dry up nicely and then it's all nice and fresh and ready to go. So you can see how nice and clean the plate is. It has a nice slip to it again. Um, so yeah, so we're good. Um, I, so this is, like I said, this is an older plate, so I use both sides. So there's still paint on this side and that paint is still probably pretty good. I could pull a few old walls with it before I clean it. So you can also use both sides of your plate. So sometimes if you're, you know, you don't have time to clean it and you want a fresh bit, slip it over. I've never had any problems with it. All right. And then let me get a, another plate that has a, a good amount of buildup around the other side. And I'll show you how I clean that one. So another way to clean the plate is when you're fresh out of the packaging. And this one has been sitting for probably about four or five days and it's totally dry. A lot of these crusty bits around here that really make very good old wall, after a while, I like to clean them off and you know go get going again because after a while, they won't absorb the paint the same. Um, so one of the easiest ways to clean your plate is literally to pick the pieces off. When the plate is dry, you can literally just pick these off. It's a lot actually easier and quicker than using the baby wipes or using the oil to soften it. It's no need to do that. So the easiest thing is that's all the dry bits. I just go ahead and pick them off. They peel off really nicely. You can see them building up there. And then a lot of times I'll just get started printing again because the center of my plate is nice and clean. Um, albeit a little discolored, this plate gets a lot of use. This is actually one of my first, this is the first plate I ever had. So this is about 10 years old now. And I really use this plate, as you can imagine, and it's held up so beautifully. So um, now if there's still stuff on here that you want to get off, there's still some paints and stuff after you get these big pieces off, which just pick right off. It's, it's really very satisfying <laughs> to clean the plate this way because it just peels right off. Then you could proceed to, um, you know, using the baby wipe or the, the mineral oil or baby oil that I'm showing in this video. So just know that you don't have to get it all smeared up and going when you have nice crusty pieces on here. You can just go ahead and pick them off and then 
get started with the cleaning. So you see how much has come off here. And also because the plate is, is dry, it's not real sticky. So all those little pieces don't stick back on the plate like they do when the plate um, has a lot of moisture on it. It's kind of hard to get all those little pieces off. So the best time to really get those crusty bits off is when the plate is nice and dry. You've just taken out, taken it out of the clamshell case and um, you're ready to do some more work and you want the plate to be clean. So basically you can see so much of that just came off from around the sides. And aside from just doing a little bit, you know, cleaning here, which is really just a light layer of paint, you get a lot off. And so even if those crusty bits are in the center of the plate, just go ahead and pick them off. They come right off. So it's another way to get your plate clean. Okay, and I think that will take care of this segment. So um, until next Wednesday, have lots of fun in your studio. Happy creating. And remember, ask as many questions as you'd like. Ask for clarity, um, products that you're having a hard time finding, all of that stuff. We're here to answer those for you in this series. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. If this is the first time coming uh, across, across my work, please do. And also make sure you thumb it up saying that you love it and that uh, some more of these um, can be pushed out and more and more people who are out there in the jelly community who love doing what we are doing will be able to find these videos and get some really quick fix answers. So love you guys so much. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye.